Thank you. Um, European trading agreement needs to cover all, and especially from where I am living in Limerick, uh, investment needs to be done in farming. Farming needs investment, it doesn't need cuts. If you're, if you're rural, uh, rural areas and you are farming, you're out in all weathers, all conditions, 365 days a year, and you have to maintain your, your stock. Dairy farmers have to minimum get 26 cent a litre to make themselves viable. With the harsh, harsh weather conditions we're having at the moment with flooding, cattle are in um, sooner than they expected. That means that the fodder is now going down. And if they have to buy fodder, it's expensive. Farmers do not need cuts from Europe. They need m more funding. Beef farmers are at the hands of the factories of what they get paid for, the, for their produce. This is wrong. Beef farmers, if they lose an animal, they've lost their profit for the year. But yet if you go into a hotel or a restaurant, you're paying premium prices for your beef, uh, uh, for, uh, for, for any type of beef or meat. Again, the person at the end of the chain is the person that's supplying the food. Everyone here in the chamber eat their produce, milk, cheese, bread, everything comes from the farming sector. But yet, they're the worst off, especially farmers that have lo uh, small land holdings. They have to work part-time to keep their farm, which has been in their generations for many, many years. We are the best country in the world for looking after people's culture. But we now need to look after our own culture as well. Our farming communities are the ones that have kept food on our tables and through all conditions and kept us fed. Now we need to invest in farming. There was a scheme rolled out in January of this year which was to improve after the catastrophe last year when calves were being they could not sell calves on the, uh, on the farms, especially Frisians, because they were making no money. People were giving them away and they weren't being taken. So a scheme was introduced, a calf investment scheme, which was supposed to be rolled out in January to help the farming community. This still hasn't been rolled out. The calving season is near over. The farmers, again, have been put under pressure after all the commitments they were given that they would get help this year Again, it's a failure. If we do not invest in the next generation, do not invest in our cultures, invest in infrastructure in our rural areas, it's the whole of Ireland. It is not city-based, it's not town-based, it's the whole of Ireland that has to be looked after. If we want to invest in Ireland and we want Ireland to go forward for all the generations, and I come from a farming background, and it has raised me and my family members. But not only, if the farming community is doing well, they invest locally. They invest in their shops, they invest in machinery, they invest in upskilling their farm, and they put money into infrastructure within the areas. So this deal has to favour rural Ireland. It has to favour our farming community. If you're a large farmer at the moment, people say to you that, oh, you're a big farmer. A big farmer has big investments, has to get the staff to work the farm if you're a big investor. And again, if they meet a harsh winter with low fodder, flooding, it puts them under pressure. All the guidelines that have been put in place down to hedge cutting, putting slurry out on your fields, everything has been regulated to make it harder and harder for farming communities to work. We need to look forward. Everyone, no matter who you are in this country, needs to be looked forward, looked after in a holistic approach. So common sense will have to prevail. 
and regulations will have to be relaxed to help the communities in rural Ireland and in rural Limerick. All our schemes in our areas, if you look at all reg regulations through education, through uh, environmental issues, are all set out to close down rural Ireland. So when people sit down to their tables tonight, if they're going to have something to eat, they should think where the produce is coming from. And when you look out the window and you see it raining, snowing, harsh conditions, think of where the food is coming from. Whether you're a vegan, no matter what you are, they're all produced in rural Ireland. And they should be looked after. So what I want here today is a commitment from all the people in government that we holistically look after the whole of Ireland and stop making regulations and stipulations which are closing us down. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Uh,